guys, welcome to Good Times with the Goodies, where every day is a good day. Now, the reason why I'm whispering is because it is 4.30, I believe, in the morning, and uh, the boys are still sleeping. I just had my quiet time. I was just filled with a whole bunch of gratitude. Gratitude for the life that I have, um, the family that I have, both sides, the kids that I have, and I was like, wow. How easy is it for us to get caught up in just the busyness of life and not focusing on the small things, which are really big in the, in the grand scheme of things, meaning as like, you know, your health. Like if you have your health, if you have your health, that's something that you gotta celebrate. If you have a roof over your head, that's something that you gotta celebrate. And I think as Americans, we always take that for granted. And I was just thinking, like the main thing that I was thinking about and thanking God about was the fact that we have healthy children. Because other people's stories are not like ours. Some people spend a lot of time in the hospital because their child is sick. And so I'm just thankful for that because that situation would be very, uh, very stressful if that was us. So I just feel really encouraged. I feel full of gratitude today. I mean, I'm full of gratitude every single day, but today I just feel it. It doesn't have to be Thanksgiving to be thankful. So I'm gonna stop whispering. I'm gonna go to the gym and uh, get this workout in. You don't want to eat your broccoli dad put some vegetables in your smoothie are you excited <laughs> do you want your smoothie yeah. just the other day Jackson and actually Malcolm they asked for a smoothie they were staying right there or sitting right there and then they saw the uh, blender up here on top of the smoothie or they saw the blender on top of the refrigerator and they wanted to have a smoothie. And I'm like, wow, that is so cool. We are changing our, our kids' habits, our eating habits. We're, we're not changing them. We're, we're helping them. We're, we're, we're allowing their taste buds to taste different things. Look how excited he is. And he wants, he wants a smoothie. He was craving a smoothie. So we've been making smoothies for about the past like two weeks very consistently once a day gets everything in and in this smoothie we've been trying this uh, this vanilla pea milk it's kind of tasty with some orange juice <laughs> okay I'll give it to you you excited Jackson <laughs> da 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 but anyways, it was so cool because here we are, we're giving them their smoothies and now they have a taste for their smoothies and they, they crave the smoothies and it's all good stuff in there. So if you have kids or even yourself, you should try to change the way that your taste buds are. If you're craving french fries, try to do something different. And it just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of patience and man, I'm just so thankful that they enjoy their smoothies because we sneak a lot of stuff in there that they probably wouldn't really like if we just gave it to him raw. Same with me. I don't like him raw, but I like him in smoothies. So try that.
Today is actually the day after Thanksgiving and we are setting up our Christmas tree. Is it too early to set up your Christmas tree after Thanksgiving? I'm not too sure, but we're doing it. I think it's your own tradition. If you want to set it up after Thanksgiving, that's up to you. But some people are just uh, Grinches and they don't want to set it up until like two weeks before. But we are in the Christmas spirit and we absolutely love Christmas. Right, Malcolm? Do you love Christmas? Yeah. There. Go look at the tree. Go look at the tree. Whoa. So we're just setting up the tree. We actually we actually bought a new one this year. We've had the other one for about it was like the first year your dad gave it to us, the first year we got married. Yeah. So we've had it for at least five years? Question mark? Has it been five years? I'm not too sure how long it's been. Four years, but it was time to get a new one. We are, we like to go with the fake trees for now because. How much fluffing it needs. We like to go with the fake trees just because we paid, what, $80 for this? No, $45. It was. Like it was $80 and we paid $45 because it was on sale. Cha ching! And, uh, and it lasts a lot longer than fake trees because fake trees, they just. What's wrong? Okay, mommy, kiss it. Fake trees just last longer. That's basically what I'm trying to say. They last longer, and you don't have to cut down a tree. Well, maybe one day we'll do that, but for now, we're just gonna stick with the fake tree and go from there. It looks actually pretty good. So we're gonna be decorating it and everything like that. Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain. There's the tree, guys. It uh, it needs a lot of love. So does Malcolm. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> Malcolm's upset that he he was playing with one of the extra light packages, and we took it away from him. So he's upset. Jackson, what do you think? Do you like the tree? What do you like better, Buzz or the tree? Huh? Point. Oh, you like the Buzz. 